Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna talk about Bitcoin mining. What is this and how it's used in the real life? Watch this video till the end and you will not have any questions about how to mine Bitcoins. So, let's start. In the last 12 months, the value of Bitcoin has gone from $1,000 per coin to almost $20,000. Despite the turbulent 2017, the cryptocurrency's price is expected to rocket upwards through 2018 and beyond. To many, Bitcoin remains an attractive and incredible volatile investment. But buying Bitcoins and hoping the price will go up is just one side of the story. The other is mining or creating of new bitcoins. While there is a finite number of bitcoin, 21 million, the computer-powered process to uncover them will continue until the final bitcoin is mined, expected around the year 2140. To date, about 16.8 million bitcoins exist, with roughly 1.800 thousand generated each day. In other words, there is still time to get in on the frenzy if you wish. So what is Bitcoin mining? Every Bitcoin transaction that occurs between one user and another must be authorized before added to the blockchain, a public ledger of record of all Bitcoin transactions ever made since the currency was created in 2008. Transactions are authorized by computers connected to the blockchain, compelling incredibly complicated equations. These calculations aren't just complex for human, they are phenomenally complicated even for a powerful computer, and the difficulty keeps increasing as more bitcoins are produced. Computers which successfully authenticate these transactions are rewarded with a block of a new bitcoins. The number of bitcoins per block started at 50, but this house for every 210,000 mined blocks that are recovered anywhere. The reward for each block is now 12.5 bitcoins. This will halve to 6.25 bitcoins around June 2020. In short, the reward for mining is falling in terms of how many bitcoins you might receive. The converse is the value of each bitcoin is rising and sometimes dramatically so. First, you will need a bitcoin wallet. Much like physical money, bitcoins need to be stored in a wallet. If you plan on saving up tools of bitcoin before exchanging them for physical currencies like dollars or euros, you should consider an offline paper wallet which can be created here. Digital wallets can also be created with services like Ethereum and are simpler and quicker to use. But with Bitcoin increases value come to the risk of digital wallets, stored on computer connected to the internet, being hacked. Can I use my computer to mine Bitcoin? Yes, and in the early days of Bitcoin it was possible to mine using the graphic cards of your own computer. Early Bitcoin enthusiasts were able to mine more bitcoins than they ever what to do with. Hundreds of even thousands of currency which for several years after it launched was almost completely worthless. Early miners would give their bitcoin away on even use 10,000 coins to buy two pizzas. At the time this seems like a far deal, but today those coins would be worth 150 million, such as bitcoins rise in value. You can still use a regular computer to mine bitcoins, but doing so takes a very very long time. Time. A laptop running an app like Bitcoin Miner for Windows could take over a century to mine a single coin. So should you buy a better computer? If you plan on seriously mining Bitcoin, the answer is yes. During Bitcoin's first major spike in 2013, when prices rose from $15 to more than $140, there was a huge boom in graphics card sales. New companies were set up to sell a type of special built computer known as an ASIC or Application Specific Integrated Circuit. This would employ several powerful graphic cards programmed to work specially with the algorithms used by Bitcoin blockchain equations. It said the real money during a gold rush in made in the space. In 2013, the real money in Bitcoin was in selling mining equipment. Mining new blocks was still easy enough for individuals to turn a tidy profit, even after the cost of mining rig and its electricity consumption was taken into account. So companies soon began filling warehouses with rooms and rooms of ASICs. Small returns are still possible today, but spending $1,000 or more on a mining rig than fitting its hungry 
GPUs with electricity 24 hours a day and replacing components when they burn out is likely to cancel out most of your profit unless the value of Bitcoin increases substantially. Can Bitcoin miners work together? Yes. And unless you have a warehouse full of mining rigs, this is going to be your best approach to earning a profit. Called mining pools, these are online groups, those members combine their computing power and work together to mine more quickly. When a block of bitcoins is mined, the coins are split among the members of that pool, minus a small fee which goes to the pool service. If you want to know more about cloud mining, so you can find out the links below this video. You can create a free account and tell the website the address of your bitcoin wallet ready for receiving your first funds. Install bitcoin mining software. All there. Now that you've bought the necessary hardware or are happy to use your own PC, created a Bitcoin wallet and joining a mining pool. All you need to mining software. There are plenty of mining applications to pick from and some are designed to work on Windows, Mac and Linux. Some are incredibly simple while others let you tweak your hardware to mine Bitcoin in the most efficient way possible without causing damage from executive heat. Heat is a hugly important part of Bitcoin mining because the process pushes your hardware to the limit, potentially causing it to run less efficiency. Locating your miner somewhere with good ventilation is key and you should also consider adding a cooling system. However, don't forget to factor in the cost of any active cooling process, air conditioner, for example, when working on your project's mining profits. Remember, there's no point setting a fortune in electricity and cooling each month if you rig only mining a small amount of Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin's value falls, you could end up losing money each month even before you have made back the initial cost of your mining machine. Is all this effort really worth it? Honestly, it's hard to say. Years ago, when loaded with hindsight, mining Bitcoin was a license to print money. Today, Bitcoin mining is more of a hobby than a means of making real money. You might get lucky and mine a block relatively quickly, but you have more chance of winning the lottery, and there the rewards are far greater. If you don't mind investing in dedicated hardware and paying for the extra electricity usage when you will earn bitcoins, or rather, you will only earn fractions of a bitcoin, perhaps even after an entire year of mining, then your profit or loss will depend on the price of bitcoin in a year's time. Over the last 12 months, it's climbed from 1,000 to almost 20,000 and then fell down. Will Bitcoin do the same in 2018? Will there be a GPU breakthrough to make mining cheaper and more powerful? Will the price of Bitcoin fall through the floor, causing miners to give up and sell off the equipment? As with many aspects of Bitcoin, it's impossible to say for sure. So, what do you think about this? Please share your opinions in the comment sections below. And for further information about how to mine bitcoins, use the links below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a good day and see you soon. Bye!